What's up everybody, Troman Gaming here. So, you might have noticed I've kind of been going in a different direction with the channel, because I've been uploading a lot less, but at the same time, I would say the videos that I have been putting out have simply been a lot more, you know, of a lot higher quality where I put more effort and thought into them. Um, but for the next two weeks, we're kind of going to be throwing that out of the window, because obviously, in two weeks, God of War is finally coming out. And it's safe to say that I have not been looking forward to a game as much as I have to God of War ever since, you know, Uncharted 4 came out or whatever. Uh, and I know that the same thing will count for many of you. So I thought it would be a really cool idea to do a countdown series uh, for it. Obviously, kind of inspired by the countdown series that I used to do for Uncharted 4 because it was a huge success. And people just found it awesome that, you know, we spent those few weeks leading up to the launch of that game um, talking about every aspect of it and it was just all around it was a lot of fun and I thought it would be a very cool idea to do the exact same thing for God of War so uh, over these next 16 days until the launch of the game that's exactly what we're gonna do I'll probably be uploading a video every two days or so uh, and there's gonna be a bunch of stuff we'll talk about like the story that we know so far uh, going some more into the gameplay of course I'm actually planning to rank all of the God of War games in order as well you know the older ones because I've recently uh, played through all of them on Twitch so that was a lot of fun too uh, but yeah like I said there's a lot to discuss we can discuss what happened in God of War 3's ending and how it will lead up to the new one uh, the gods that we may possibly encounter and also and that's what I'm going to start this episode off we're going to talk simply about uh, some of the recent news we've heard of the game that I've not been able to talk about yet. But I will quickly say, if you have a particular thing related to God of War that you'd like me to talk about, then leave me your ideas in the, in the uh, comments of the video because I can write them down and maybe I can still squeeze a couple of episodes in there based on your ideas, you know, for this series. So for now, I would say let's simply uh, kick it off with this very first episode, 16 days left. Let's talk about some of the most recent news of the game that I've not been able to talk about yet. Um, First thing is, of course, that the game went gold already about one and a half weeks ago, I think. Um, which is a good thing, obviously. It means that the game is actually coming out, not going to be delayed anymore. Uh, in fact, a bunch of reviewers have already got their hands on the game, apparently. Mainly people in America, from what I've noticed. For some reason, they're always first. It is what it is. Um, but yeah, I should myself also be receiving a review copy eventually. I don't know exactly when. As of right now, I have not received anything yet. So uh, we're going to have to wait and see when exactly, you know, I will too. But you know, that's a good thing. Uh, Sony seems to be super confident about the game because the review embargo is apparently going to be on April 12th, which is like eight days before the game is actually coming out. And I can assure you, you got to be very confident in your game if you're allowing reviews to, you know, come out for the game. Yeah, like over a week before it's actually coming out. It means that they expect the game to do incredibly well. And I personally do too, because, you know, of course, I played a bit of it and everything I've seen so far myself you know, we know this game is going to be, you know, awesome, right? So, uh, yeah, another piece of news that we actually did recently get was that the PS4 Pro is apparently going to get some type of performance mode. Uh, Corey Barlock, the game director, hinted at that recently on Twitter, where he said that people that have a PS4 Pro should expect a much smoother experience. He didn't want to go into, like, specifics or whatever, because I think there were some fans that asked if that meant that the game would play in 60 frames. But he simply said, no, it's a lot smoother. Uh, I don't know what exactly that means. I don't think the PS4 Pro is that much more powerful than the original that they're gonna be able to have it literally run at a, you know, locked 60 frames. I don't think so in the slightest. I think what it's simply gonna be is, um, you know, if you, if you are a PS4 Pro owner, you can choose for the resolution mode, which is gonna be like 1440p upscale or something, uh, to 4K. Or you can go with the performance mode, which will likely be, you know, either it's just going to be a very steady 30 frames, but I kind of hope it's more than that because he did say it's a lot smoother. So I guess that it could mean that the game will be running at an un unlocked frame rate at around like 40 to 50 maybe, um, depending on the situation. So you kind of get this... this frame rate that infamous second sun used to have as well where you could see it switch every once in a while you know you could really see it go up and down which kind of sucks in my opinion i'm not a huge fan of that but um if they can manage to at least get the frame rate to stay at a similar level the whole time um whether it is 40 or 50 frames or whatever then that's still a good thing because it you know like i said it does mean actually that it's gonna run smoother so um i feel like 
Hellblade might have had something similar like that, where it wasn't a full 60, uh, Shadow of the Tomb Raider, or, sorry, Rise of the Tomb Raider didn't uh, either, I think. So both of those games ran at a certain frame rate that did make it feel very smooth, but at the same, same time wasn't 60, but did stay consistent. So, um, yeah, I can only hope that that's exactly what it means, but uh, we won't know that until the reviews start coming out for it. Um... There's two more quick little things, which is that uh, I think Corey Bollock talked about the fact that it took a designer of Sony Santa Monica 43 hours to 100% beat the game. So he was going through it, beat the story mode, did every optional stuff in the game as well, or every optional thing, um, and managed to get a full 100% in exactly 43 hours, which is quite a lot of time, of course. You know, we already knew that the game was going to be pretty long, 25 to 35 hours, he said. Um, at PlayStation Experience, uh, you know, a couple months back. So the fact that a designer of Sony Santa Monica needs 43 hours to 100% beat the game while he already knows kind of, you know, the ins and outs of it, right? Um, that's a, that, yeah, that's a, that's a pretty good sign. But at the same time, I will say a lot of people really get caught up by this length thing, right? Where they're like, oh, 43 hours, that's amazing. Um, to me, it's really about the quality, though. I really don't care if the game is 25, 30, 40, 50 hours. Uh, as long as those that you know that entire journey is actually really awesome and uh, uh, the combat doesn't get repetitive and stuff, that's really all that matters to me. So you know, like I said, it's of course great if if the game can manage to stay at a very consistent level of quality for those entire 43 hours, and that's a great thing, obviously. Then it is, yeah, the more the better. But um, but again, that's something that we're gonna have to to find out when we actually get to play the game, right? Uh, the last thing, a bit of news that we got is that the game is apparently 44 gigabytes of file size in total, although that is without patches, so I don't know if they're going to be like, you know, releasing a day one patch or something like that that will add even more to it, uh, but the game is, you know, pretty big, um, about, you know, the maximum that a Blu-ray, uh, I think this can hold. I think it's 50 gigabytes, right? So 44 gigabytes is what it's going to be. Um, that was pretty much it. That was all that we learned about the game in the, in the you know, most recent uh, times, I guess. So let me know your thoughts in the comments for sure. I just thought it would be nice to kind of update you on this so you're completely up to speed. And so in the next episode, we can really start discussing the more in-depth stuff like uh, what I talked about. The story so far, the gameplay... Uh, uh, and doing the other videos like ranking the God of War games. Uh, that's gonna be really cool. I'll really quickly announce as well that I have uh, another, you know, pretty awesome thing, which is that every single patron supporter of mine at just a dollar per month will be getting early access to every episode. So in two days, we're gonna talk about the story so far. That video right now is up on Patreon already for all the people that support me there for just a dollar. Uh, so if you really can't wait for the next one, then make sure you, you know, support me on Patreon, of course, because you make it possible for me to actually make these videos uh, while getting that already in advance. So uh, yeah, that was pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thanks a lot, everybody, for watching. Leave a quick like to help support me. And then I hope to see you again next time.